So right now in this little clip, we're going to address the hooks and swizzles that I use. Um, I like to put these on bags and purses. Uh, I'm making a little cross bag for a birthday gift today. And I want to address how I decide how wide it's going to be. Uh, it is what it is, but let me reposition you. All right. So when I am making, so these are one and a half inch, uh, D hooks. And I literally went like this. So I thought seam allowance, seam allowance, seam allowance, seam allowance. Um, I normally try to make them anywhere from three to three and a half. I don't like to go any smaller than that because you can adjust them from the top when you're sewing and you can trim off the extra. But if you make it too short, it's really hard to work with. It's really hard to get in where you need. So I estimated, you know, eh, a little seam allowance, a little seam allowance. And I went like this and then I folded it, ironed it. And what I come up with, and I know this looks long, but you have a little bit of play. It's not real tight. And this is going to be for a shoulder strap. So I'm going to put the shoulder strap up here at this top. This part, if you want it closer, this looks like, oh my gosh, it's going to be further away. You just put it up further in the hemline. But if you make it too short, it's really hard to work with. Okay. So then I'll just pin this in my uh, hemline here, you know, to be down in here. And I'll have it sticking up quite a bit however I want that to be and then I'll just put a pin stitch it and then I snip off this extra um, for the swizzles same thing I took and again you can see I stitched about three inches oh well, this one I made four but that's okay it's just I use scraps for this so it is what it is I just don't want it too short again just went hmm about right about right folded it over and did this and then stuck it through here. Now this one's a little bit looser. I don't care if the weight of it is going to be in the down position, not the up position. I have enough here to put in my hemline facing down and then I can raise it and lower it and just uh, pin it in where I want it. So yeah, it is what it is. Um, but I do just estimate, you know, and then make it about three inches long and then I sew and then trim that off. So there you go is how to, um, do the little, I don't know what you call them, trims for putting eye hooks and swivels. My computer's acting stupid. <laughs> All right, there you have it.